Hi, my name's Toast, and welcome to Toast Tutorials, the series where I teach you how to get the most from your creative tools. Today we're going to be recreating the effect of Play Space Mover Space Drag using CV2, allowing us to drag ourselves around in place with a trigger handle. Let's get straight into it. First, let's begin by getting ourselves the trigger handle. Pull out your Maker Pen, go to Palette, Props, Dynamic, and scroll all the way down to Trigger Handle. Now we're going to track this handle and apply forces to the player accordingly. So go to Circuits V2, Physics, Get Velocity, and Velocity Set. Now we need to create a continuous signal when the trigger is being held. So let's get an IF and an EVENT receiver. Configure your event receiver and set it to update 30 hertz. This will create a constant stream of executions. Put execution into the if execution, but then into set velocity. Put the condition as primary action is held. Get the velocity of the trigger handle and put it into direction and set the target as player. Now yours will come as five as a standard but we just need to clear that and set it as minus one. What this will do is it will get the speed of the trigger handle, it'll make it inverse and push the player by that amount, allowing us to get pulled around as if we were using play space mover. I don't like the clicking sound, so I'm gonna configure the trigger handle and just turn that off. Wonderful. Now just this much does work, but it can create some networking issues. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go to my search palette, type in if local player, and do if local player should run. Now wire acting player, this player, put it into then and should run to set velocity. Now this will do the exact same thing, but what it won't do is it won't be trying to do this for everyone. This won't be happening on everyone's screen, which will make it use a lot less net. And that's that for this video. I hope this taught you more than just wiring one for one and actually taught you some bits about basic CV2 components. I'd like to hear your feedback and what you would like to see more of so I know what videos to make in the future. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you around.